Hi friends, this is the Nero Research and welcome to the second part of XRP Telegram bot tutorial. Last time we discussed high level architecture of our bot and main functionality. Today we start building it. So let's begin with bot father. We have to create new bot. So we can type new bot command or click here. Okay, let's choose a name for our bot. That would be demo XRP. P X R R P Telegram bot. Good. Now let's choose username of our bot. It must end with bot, so we can copy this name and paste it here as well. Okay, bot is created, and here is our access token. So let's save there that in some safe place like config file. Now let's create MongoDB database in MLab. So I have logged in and click create new database. Okay, I'll use sandbox, ver sandbox version. It allows 500 megabytes for free. So that's enough for our demo and available regions. So we don't care actually about the region, but let's pick United States, Virginia, and click continue. Database name XRP, Telegram, bot. Continue, and let's submit order. So our database is being created, and here it is. This is URL to access our database, but we need to create as well database user and password for this user in order to get access to this database. So let's go to users and create one. And finally, let's generate XRP testnet wallets. We need one wallet for our bot and one for our test user. I have already finished this exercise and copied credentials into config file. I have also created folder demo XRP telegram bot and inside of this folder I have config.js file where I have saved telegram access token, mongodb URI and XRP test wallet credentials. So now we are ready to initialize our project. Let's type npm in it and hit enter. Okay, name demo XRP telegram bot. We are fine with that. Version 1. Description will skip that part. Entry point app.js. Test command node app.js. Git repository empty. Keywords empty. Also, also empty. And license by default. Here is our package.json example. We are fine with it and let's hit enter. Ok, project is initialized. Now let's install all the libraries we need in our project. In order to work with MongoDB, we need Mongoose library. So let's type npm install minus minus save Mongoose and hit enter. So Mongoose is being installed and let's wait until completion. In order to work with Telegram API, instead of Telegram Node API, we'll use Telegraph library. This library has much more capabilities and better documentation, per my opinion. So let's install it. It is called Telegraph and hit enter. Okay, also let's wait for completion. And finally, in order to work with XRP Ledger, we need Ripple Leap. So let's install this library, ripple lib, and hit enter. Well, all libraries were installed and added to package.json. Now we can create app.js file and work with it. Let's begin with import of our libraries and config file. So let's create a constant config, it equals to require current directory config, 
let's copy this row, paste it below. Now we need to import mongoose. Mongoose, it equals to mongoose library. Let's type this capital M. Now let's import telegraph API. It equals to telegraph. And let's import ripple API. API, it equals to ripple lib dot ripple API. Okay. Now let's initialize Telegram API. Let's create another constant. It would be bot and it equals to new Telegram object. And here we need to pass our Telegram uh, access token. So it is saved in config file. So it would be config and it is called Telegram token. Okay, when user opens our bot for the first time, it would be good to send some welcome message and explain bot's functionality. So let's do this. Let's type bot start. It has one callback variable it called context. And we will send welcome message, context reply with markdown. This comment allows some formatting of reply text and we will pass following text. I have prepared it in advance. So, okay. Also, if user types help command, we will provide information about available commands. So it would be bot.help. Also, we have context and call back context reply with mark down down and here is also prepared in advance text okay and finally we need to start polling so it will enable bot listeners that will listen uh, our comments in telegram bot start polling okay let's save and test our bot okay, let's go to the terminal and type node app.js let's make sure that we have no errors okay i don't see any errors now let's switch to telegram and Try some comments. I have opened demo XRP Telegram bot and let's click start. So as expected, we see text I have typed uh, in advance. So some welcome message and information about available comments. Okay, now let's try help. Help also provides some text with information about comments and how to use them. Great. Well, that's all for today. In the next video, we'll continue integration with Telegram and XRP Ledger, and we'll begin implementation of deposit command. Thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you want more videos, and leave your questions in the comment section below. Bye.